Hi there. In previous video, we learned about current CSS pseudo selector, which is in draft state for now. In this video, I will explain different kind of child selectors in CSS. So, a child combinator in CSS is the greater than symbol. That looks like something. Let me show you with an example. Something like this. So this is combinator, a child combinator in CSS, and you can use it using greater than sign. Right. It means select elements that are direct descendants only and only. In this case, select list item that are direct descendants of an unordered list. If you want to check with an example, I can write down one HTML. For example, here we can write down one order list, and in that we can write down number of list like uh, number list item one. Another li number list item 2 and we can create one ul an order list and in ul we can again add some allies list item 1 and li list item 2 this is HTML and you can also write one li out of this ul and number list item number 3 for example so it will look like this but when you will write css for that you can write ol the child element li and you can give color red for example Let's see. So, as you can see, the topmost ally is there red colored. OL and ally, which is topmost in order. If you can, if you console, if you check this ally, it is not the child of OL. It is child of UL, so it is not working. That the CSS is not getting applied because what greater than sign means it will apply all the elements of OL, but the direct elements, not the internal one. So these two allies are not part of this UL. I mean this ol it's a part of this ul so when you write down ol greater than li when you use the child css then it will apply to only and only direct descendants so that's what the child css selector does there are few other examples i can show there are different kind of child css selector the first is child combinator i will uh, explain with an example as well the second one is general symbolic combinator and i will show another one with example as well so let's start with the first example so when you write down uh, let, let me just remove this greater than sign and see what happens it will apply to all the allies so when you write down ol space li it will select all li elements in ol no matter what rank is there what descendants are there but if you want to apply only to the descendant elements you can use greater than sign so that's the child element right so let me show you with an example 
the first example is uh, for that let me add some html let me remove this well order list first let me add one ul here the an order list in ul i am adding one list list item one another li list item two and in that ul let me add one ol order list again list item and let me call it nested item one another li you can say nested item two and out of this ol let me add another li and you can write down list item number three similar to the same html we created so in this case if we select ul li and let's give the background color to yellow right in this case let's see in this case it will apply to all the allies and see the list item this ally is already there with the background color this ally and this ally as well and the last one also but if i change css to ul greater than ally then see so you can see it is applied to these allies not within the ol so this is a child combinator so when you first look at the css you might get confused that it is a space and it is a greater than not the less than it's a greater than sign so it's the confusion it's the it might be a confusion uh, at first stage but when you are used to it it's pretty simple so in both the cases they are selecting the list items that are children of an order list but there is a difference between children and descendants so the first selector is a descendant selector it will select any list item the first means this one it will select any list items that are anywhere underneath an unordered list in this markup structure. The list item could be three levels deep or a nested list, no matter what. This selector will still match it, will match it. The second selector, this one, is a child combinator selector. It means it will only select list items that are direct children of an unordered list. This one right in other words it only looks one level down the markup structure not more deeper if there was another another list nested deeper the list item children of it will not be targeted by this selector right so this is the child selector and child combinator the next one is adjacent sibling combinator so how it, it works let me change some html for that instead of ulli let's add paragraphs i'm adding one div and in div on paragraph line one paragraph line two and after that i'm adding one div for example this is div right and after that you can add one more paragraph and line 3 this is the html structure we are creating no css is there but if you want to select these paragraphs you have few options like you can write p 
plus p and when you select p plus p and let's say background color to red and it will select only one paragraph this one because what this plus sign means these selectors can help you to apply styling in a contextual way perhaps in practical way you have a bunch of articles on your site most of them start with the paragraph elements and it looks good but some of them start with ul on order list which have to on the top and bottom margin on your site to look in a better way right so in that case you can use this adjacent symbling combinator another example is instead of p plus p i can drive down du plus p and it will select the last line line 3 because when you add du plus p it will select the paragraph which is after this du and in this case we have this paragraph right so this is this was another example the next one is general sibling combinator for that we don't need to change any html paragraph filled sign and paragraph for example i am again giving some css Let's see as you can see it is selecting the second paragraph and the last one right and if you change here to div it will select the last line number 3 this one so this is the general sibling combinator so the general sibling combinator selector is a very similar to adjacent sibling selector the combinator but the difference is that the element being selected doesn't need to immediately succeed the first element but can appear anywhere after it if you use the same example structure the last p element will be selected by p by this one right because it is the preceded by another p even though it is not directly so you have to note here that in both the general sibling and adjacent sibling selectors the logic takes place within the same parent element the parent element is same that what the sibling means sibling means sharing the same parent right in this example that's what the wrapping div is therefore this div this div if there was another paragraph element after this div it would get still selected by both div p and plus as well so this is the sibling and adjacent sibling with css and when you say the browser support most of all the browsers are supporting this css combinator css child selectors and it it works fine for all major, major C, uh, browsers right have you noticed the greater than sign there is no less than sign in css as you can see that's the error there is no less than sign right but you can use jquery a javascript library like dollar is the javascript selector and paragraph to select the paragraph and one function is there has and you can use any element like image for example so you can use the javascript but in css there is no p less than p you can you can use the less than as as of now maybe some difficulties are there in the implementation but it's not there i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye